Hello and welcome. In this video, we will create class based views for our Django model. We are having this model, post model, which contains title, slug, block type, text, and some time fields, as you can see here. And if the view button, then you can check out everything. Right now, these things are working by using function based views, and now we will create class based views. So let's start. For class based views, go to views.py. So first import from django.views.generic import detail view, list view, and update view. So this is what we will be doing. And first make a new class and we will inherit these things in our class. So let's do it. So class, first we will be looking how to render every post, every instance of this post in our template by using list view. Okay, so class, post, list, all whatever name you want to give you can give and inherit the list view here and in this first you have to give the model name so our model will be this post model which is coming from this models dot dot models import post i have already done it so model equals to post template name so we will be making a new template under the folder posts and that will be all dot html okay whatever name you want to give you can use that name so for now that's enough so first make a new url for this view that will be post list all just go to the urls of this uh, app that is urls.py and we will import so from dot view import this post list all and we'll make a new path right now the all the paths are empty in this file so path the past path will be because it is list so we can say list and comma the name of the function uh, the class name of the class that you have created by using edge view this is important if you are using class based views you have to use edge view and in function based views we don't need edge view okay and the name will be list whatever you want to give you can give so we are taking name edge list that's all for this this is a list of paths so i am separating with the comma and because this is path so we have to import the path okay so we don't need admin so from django.urls import path there you go now let's run it uh, one more thing that is left is to create this template that is all.html which will be lying in and in, inside the template folder whatever your app is inside the template make a new folder inside templates which is as the same name that is your app is so posts and make a new file there so all dot html there you go and inside it for now just write object list save it so we will go to list block slash list why i'm using block slash list because it is defined at blogs so i have to use blogs blogs list so we are having this query set as you can see here uh, this blocks is coming from my main urls.py file uh, where I have defined this include tag as you can see here so blocks and then it is including all the urls from the posts file which is this post file we are having this urls file so all the blocks are coming from here all the other, all the other paths are coming from here okay so that's why we are having blocks slash list now let's do one more thing here uh, which is inside this list view you can see here that the context variable is object list you can check uh, if you don't know what what the context variable name is or you can you know also set the name by using context object name and whatever you want to give for example let's say ports so now as you can see this will run and in all.html if you write this object list is not going anywhere but now you can render out from this also now if you want to check oh, what other things this post list all view is giving to you just you have to write a function that is inside this class that is get context data so get context data pass self args and keyword args and in this function we will in uh, use the context context equals to super keyword by using the super 
and dot on this function which is context object data with arcs and keyword arcs and here you go we will check out what actually the context giving a context is coming from the base class and then we will return context that's it that's it for this and now rerun it and this is a context we are getting okay so as you can see it if I copy it and just uh, I will show you we are having every object every uh, object of the post model and in the post uh, I'll, we are also getting the posts so that's why we can access this object list as well as post because this is a, a dictionary that we are getting and if we write the key posts and we access the key posts that's why we are getting printed this thing in our template so this is you know basic idea behind how the class based view works so this is giving object list and posts as the key value pair and we are getting these things okay because this is list view so it is uh, returning everything for us so now we don't need it that's so and save it now we can uh, re uh, and render individual post by just uh, looping through all of these so for p in posts and and for and in this let's say p there you go and if we do it now we don't need this because we are looping all the way down and now these are the two things we are getting uh, to distinguish more clearly we can use a ul tag to make a list and inside this we will use the list tag and put it between these there you go now we are having these three things because we are having these three posts here in the admin panel you can see so these are the other things we are getting and because in our model we are having title select so we can access by uh, using p.title okay and if i say like this p.id p.updated whatever we want to take you can up you can take from this so for id 23 we are having django query this is what we are getting in our list view so that's all for the list view in the list view that's important to note that we are only get, uh, using two things here that is model and template name uh, if you don't use this everything will run fine no matter whether you create this function or not so this is our list view and if you want to do the same thing with class based views uh, sorry if you want to do the same thing with function based views you have to do something like this so post list and a request you have to make a new function okay like this and then you can do you can use a variable let's say a or you can use a variable let's say all ports and we'll do ports dot objects dot all and inside it we have to use a context variable that is context equals to and in this you can say in the key ports we are having all posts that are coming from the post dot object dot all then then we will return render first argument will be request second will be your template so because we are having template all dot html you can do all dot html and in the context you have to pass the dictionary context that we have defined here now these two things are totally similar they will run both similar one thing that will be different is in the urls.py when you are calling this uh, view you don't have to pass this as view inside the in in the case of function based view otherwise it will give problem okay so if you, have, you want to run it just import it right there this make a new path this is function so function list and this is function list there you go so if i uh, go to this url in, in instead of this list if you go to function list so you can see everything is totally same why because we are getting the same data in this post and we are also uh, getting the same data in this post because we are getting the same data in the same key that is why we can access in our uh, in our html file by using this key so this is all about the list view and the difference between a list view and a function based view i, I think now you got the basic idea of working with the list view and one more thing that I want to tell you, uh, just as we have seen the get context data function uh, that uh, you can add some extra context here. For example, in the case of context data here, you want to add, let's say date one thing here in, in, in it. So let's say if you want to add that 
date time so you can ju just add like this date and dot date time dot now okay so now we are having this new kind of variable in it okay so just now th there you go so now we are having a new context variable date in your this post list function in this case because we are at function based list view so in this case if i access this let's say date okay the key is date and there you go you are getting the current time of the date but the question is how we will do it in the case of list view in the case of class based views because here we were having simply the context but in the case in this case we are not having so for that you have to again define the same function which is got get context data and in it you have to pass self args and keyword args and then we will use the context that we are getting initially that is super of get context data and pass only args and keyword args not the self okay you don't have to pass self and keyword args here you go and then we will add a new context which is date as you can see the key name is date so date for the key date as we used to do in dictionary in python it's the same thing we are doing with the context is dictionary okay so then we will do date time dot date time dot now I'm using date time because I have already imported it. You have to import it if you want to use it, okay? And return context. So now we are having the previous context as it is, including a new context that you that as, as you can see here. Now instead of getting to list uh, a function list, we can go to list, and now we are also having the time. But if you haven't de uh, defined this in this in this case, let, let's see this, and you go to the URL like this, then you are not getting it. So, but if you do it there you go so in the case of class based view if you want to define that uh, the date or you know in kind of new context key key value pair then you have to do it by using this cat context data the next and last thing that i want to tell you in list view is you can also change the query set that you are receiving for example in the in this case uh, let me tell you if you override the function get dev query set with the self and return post dot objects dot all okay so uh, by not defining anything the class based view behind the scenes is doing this thing okay because it is rendering out every post and in the query set we are getting this post object dot all okay uh, as we are doing in list in the case of function based views we are doing the same thing and list view is doing this thing behind the scenes but if you want to do something else if you don't want to use everything okay then you can filter out something or you can do anything for example if i do none okay now here we are receiving no object right now okay and if we do all in the previous as we have done previously we are receiving everything now there you go so and this is the get query set method this is get context data method so for case in the case of list view i think that's all for this video thank you so much